What if we brought something new to the moon? A new kind of robot. Strong enough to unload itself from the lander using its own arm. We need to test it. We test it here on Earth. Make sure each of the arm joints is strong enough, has the right travel. It needs to be able to drive around, so we put six wheels, including bogey wheels, on the back so that it can conform to the terrain. It needs a, a camera, and so we put it on a selfie stick. It needs to be able to drive around. It needs to be able to pick up its own tools. Here it's picking up a big ore bucket that it's going to use to move other tools around and to haul ore when we get that far. It needs to be able to pick these things up and put them down repeatedly, reliably. So it uses a two-pin tool coupler, similar to used in heavy equipment. Irregular surfaces are hard to drive on, so it needs to be able to level the terrain. So we have a box of tools. We're going to pick them up. Now, on the lunar surface, we can go anywhere. Where should we go? Well, there's something incredibly valuable and ancient on the lunar surface. Let's go there. We're going to be able, need to be able to build a road that we can travel over. It may take several tries. We're going to be able to need to move rocks and move the, the soft, fluffy moon dust. So we have a plow on front that lets us smooth the surface. The thing that's ancient and valuable on the lunar surface is water. Down in a crater where the sun isn't shining, if you dig under the dust, there's more and more water. It's frozen in the form of ice. So we can build a mine. We can mine lunar regolith for water. Now, to do this, we're going to need to be able to unload our tools and then manipulate the dust. So soft dust we can scoop. Scooping forward, unloading is kind of tricky. Here's a better way to do the loading. We're going to tip our ore bucket sideways, just roll the dirt directly in. Then when we pick up the ore bucket, we can then scoop up the, the rest. That works for fluffy dirt, but for hard rock, we're going to need something something more powerful. This is a rock breaker. Even though the frozen regolith is very hard, it's also brittle. It's even more brittle at the cryogenic temperatures of the actual lunar surface. So, if we've broken up hard regolith, or scooped up soft regolith, we now need to do something with it. So here's where we're going to take it. We're going to drive it out of the mine using the same robot that broke it up. So this robot hauls and excavates. It's an exca hauler. We're going to take it to extract the water. This machine is going to cook the water out, and then we're going to extract the water into, into a water tank. Our same robot can actually move the water tanks around by going and hooking it with the same tool. This, this water tank is scaled to store 100 kilograms of water. We can now drive that water anywhere that we want on the surface. So where should we take it? Well, we can use it to keep people alive on the surface. We can use it to make rocket fuel. We can use lunar water to launch lunar metals and not have to mine metals on Earth, which will help preserve Earth's amazing biosphere. And we can start bringing larger reusable landers flying back and forth. 